we got to find something to prop this up on so it's not so like up in my grill. Um, hold please. Okay, that might suffice. I don't know if the audio quality is gonna be any good or not, but my little jank setup that I have right here is kind of the best that I can do. Okay, I wanna share this with you guys. I talked about, hold please. I talked about my planners, how I was stopping with the Happy Planner. I talked about going for a more minimalistic planner and I got this one from Cloth and Paper. <clears throat> and um, I had used it for a while I kind of did a lot of things in pencil um, because I was kind of playing around with it and trying different things out and was like erasing stuff and whatnot. And it worked out pretty well. Um, I will say I do like the planner. I like the paper. I think it worked out fantastic. But <laughs> there's always a but, isn't there? I still don't feel at peace with my planner. I'm not, I just don't love it. Something feels off. And. I've considered going back to my good old just sticky notes and notes everywhere and just planner, you know, um, not even planners, it's um, notepads, literally notepads all over the place because sometimes that actually works for me, especially whenever my things are like really hectic and busy. But anyways, what I decided to do was to give Bujo Planning a go again. I did this, I don't know, last year, the year before maybe, something like that. I was looking at Mom Run Craft on Instagram, Miss April, she's amazing. She always, like, she's so creative and she always creates these gorgeous spreads. And I thought, let's give that a go. So I got this um, journal from Hemlock and Oak. And I do want to say that if you're looking for a really good journal, this is the one. The cover of this, I'm a, I'm a, te I'm a texture weirdo, okay? Like, certain textures kind of creep me out. And I am in love with the texture of this. I don't even know how to explain it. So anyways, got this. It's a grid layout. Let's see if I can get the darn camera to work. I hope you guys can see that. It's a grid layout. The paper is really, really thick. I don't remember how thick it is off the top of my head. But I did plan a monthly layout in here. And then I also did my first weekly layout. And of course, because it's new and it's something different, I'm loving it. I don't know that I'm going to stick with it. <clears throat> I don't know that it's something that um, is feasible for me to do every single week, like doing the stamping and um, creating all these spreads. But for right now, it's kind of fun just to change a pace. Maybe doing this and this being a little bit more complicated might make me want to go back to the minimalistic cloth and paper planner that I have, but I have no idea what I'm doing yet in the planner world. But I want to share that with you because I want to show you how I'm going to create a spread in this journal. We're going to use some stamps. I don't know what, I just picked this up. I don't know if that's the stamp I'm going to use. I have absolutely no idea. I'm thinking maybe, um, what did I do with it? Okay, first off, let me show you my craft room right now because it is an absolute disaster. Like, doors are stuck out everywhere. Things are all over the place. Cabinet doors are all just like left open. We do not know what's happening around here anymore. Let me move a few things that you're not allowed to see just yet. As you can see, it's a little bit of a mess. Um. But Heidi Swap had this amazing, amazing kit come out. It's called Set Sail. What did I do with the stamps to that? I know I just had them. I literally just got done using them. And I thought I laid them back here. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I'm losing my mind, which is probably what's actually ha Oh, here they are. Huh. Okay. Anywho, she has these stamps. I She had like two stamp sets that come out with it or whatever. I only picked up the one, but I'm thinking that we're going to do something fun and bright and colorful. I live in Ohio. The weather has been fairly good. It's turning really nice, pretty green outside. The colors are um, starting to pop like with the flowers and, you know, the buds are on the trees and stuff. So it's like really, really starting to be springtime. It did pour down the rain today and it thunderstormed, which kind of sucked. But I want to do something fun and bright and colorful. So we're going to use these stamps. We're going to use some fun inks. The inks I use are Distressed Oxide. Um, and I don't know. Let's just have fun. Let's just hop into this 
Hemlock and Oak journal and let's plan for next week. Before I dive in, I need to clean up my space a little bit so I have a semi-clean working area because it's an actual disaster. But real quick, I wanna tell you guys, there's a company called Big Picture Classes and what they do is they have different teachers come on and teach craft classes. Scrapbooking, how to take photos, um, how to create albums, I mean, tons of different things. And I have a class that is actually launching April the 17th. Hopefully this video is out by then, but the way I am, probably not. But anyways, I wanna share it with you because I've created tons of tags. Like this is a giant tag. It's got a pocket. It's got tags that go inside of the pocket. It's got stamping, cute little DIY embellishments on it. We've got some ribbon. I made this one that's like a pocket, but then there's hidden journaling in there. So super cute. Um, this one's like a flip up tag. It's got journaling and a photo. And then I also created some tags that go inside of page protectors. So if you guys use page protectors in your scrapbooking albums, um, these are perfect for that. There's this one that is an accordion fold. Look at how stinking cute. It's just like real tiny and just this cute little tag that slides right down inside of the page protector. But anyways, I wanted to share that with you guys. I'll have them linked down below and I'll have the class that I did linked if you guys want to check it out. But it's a really fun class. Definitely great for beginners and just, just like make some fun little tags with me. Maybe spark your creativity and have you making all sorts of fun little things for memory keeping, for scrapbooking, to put inside of your planner, like it doesn't matter, but um, I just wanted to share that with you guys so you can check it out. I'm gonna clean up my space and then we're gonna dive into this beauty. Starting off this layout by creating a guide for myself. I wanna do a vertical layout just like I did for the previous week. So what I do is I count seven of the squares over and I make just a little line in pencil to serve as a guide so I know where I can stamp at. Like I mentioned in the intro, the inks that I'm using are Distressed Oxide by Tim Holtz. I really like these inks. I think that they're amazing. They have tons of colors and we are starting off with the color Mustard Seed. And I'm using it with this sun stamp. I think this is just fun and bright and a great way to start off this fun little layout. From there, you're gonna see me use this like half, I don't know, it's like a little burst, like a half circle burst. And I did that one in abandoned coral. So it's kind of this darker pink color and it really layers well over top of that mustard seed yellow. From there, this color might just be one of my favorites. It is called Mermaid Lagoon and it is this gorgeous bright blue color. What I'm stamping is the word uncharted. This, this week is gonna be wild for me. So <laughs> I really like that word for this week. Here what I'm stamping is the definition for adventure because this week is also going to be an adventure. And I did that in the color Tumble Glass. And then because I wanted more of that Mermaid Lagoon, I found these cute little waves and I just popped those in there underneath of the definition sticker. I thought that was really, really cute. From there, I really wanted to also bring in some more pink colors, which is so strange because I'm not, I'm not a big pink person. I don't like a ton of pink, but I wanted it for this spread. So... There's this cute little seashell and I used that and I stamped it down in the color saltwater taffy, which is like this really light, it's actually a really pretty pink and it pairs well with all of those colors. So we've got yellows and blues and pinks going together. Now, this is where I kind of wish I wouldn't have done what I did. I have these, um, I don't remember if I got these from Heidi Swap or Allie Edwards, one of the two, but these number stamps, I really like them. They're thin numbers and I thought, that I would stamp them in the saltwater taffy and it would just look super cute. But honestly, what I should have done was use smaller numbers in black and I think it really would have made the colors, the yellows and the blues and pinks and stuff really pop more. I also started to kind of take off downhill. <laughs> I went kind of down towards the right as I uh, got towards the end of the week. But lesson learned when I'm doing a bunch of colors like that or like a cluster just to use black for the numbers. So here's where I'm going in with a pen and I'm using a ruler. Now you'll see me go in every other line first because the pen that I'm using is in a 0.7 and it takes just a minute to dry, not very long, but um, I didn't wanna smear it across the page. I already got ink everywhere on the page in some places, so I didn't need to also smear ink all over the place. Now down here in the bottom, 
I'm going to stamp the sun again in that mustard seed. And because, like I said, I love the Mermaid Lagoon, I'm going to add the word April down in the bottom. And I think it just turned out super cute, a really fun spread, and just fun and bright and makes me want to conquer this wild, crazy week that I have ahead of myself. Here's the closer look at the finished layout. The beautiful thing about stamping is that it never turns out perfectly, so it kind of has this like rustic vintage vibe, which I'm really into, and I think it looks super, super cute. So that's why I like to do the stamping. And you can see where I went downhill <laughs> with the letters. Do you remember how in the beginning I said I was going to get everything cleaned up? Well, it turns out I sat on a throne of lies because I did not get everything cleaned up. I just cleaned out a spot big enough on my desk for me to work and create the spread. The rest of it is still there, so I just need you to know that I lied.